On the last day of summer, ten hours before fall, my grandfather took me out of the wall. For a while we stood silent and finally said with a very sad shake of his very old head. As you know, on this side of the wall, we are Yooks. On the far other side of this wall live the Zooks. And the things that you've heard about Zooks are all true. That terribly horrible thing that they do. And in every Zook house and in every Zook town, Every zook eats his bread <laughs> with the butter, side down. Butter, butter, butter bright. Every morning, noon, and night. Spread your bread and spread it right. But we ukes, when we eat, when we breakfast or sup, we spread our bread right with the butter side up. Because of course you remember our bread spreading rule that you learned as a lad back in bread spreading school. On my honor as a uke youth, I do solemnly swear to spread up on top here and never down there. On my honor as, as a uke youth, youth I do solemnly swear to spread up on top here and never down there. That's the true honest way. And all honest folks know that you can't trust a zook who spreads bread down below. Every zook must be watched. He has kinks in his soul. That's why as a young man I made watching my goal. Watching zooks for the zook watching border patrol. With a song in my heart and a spring in my knee, with a glint in my eye and a hump to free, I strided with pride along that wall and I watched those zookers, one and all. And if they got fresh, I just gave them a twitch with my tough, tufted prickly snickberry switch. For a while, that worked fine. All the zooks stayed away, and our country was safe. Then, one terrible day, a very rude zook by the name of Anich snuck up and slingshotted my stickberry switch. <laughs> well, well, side, back aside, down. <laughs> Why, wow, those dirty upside down butterers, they can't do that to us. Why, I never saw anything so aggressively affrontable. It's worse than that, it's acrimonious. Zooks, they're impossible, and they get impossibler and impossibler and impossible every day. That's me. They get too big with their britches. With a broken off switch, with my head hung in shame, to the chief Yukaroo in great sorrow I came. But our leader just smiled. He said, Dear boy, you're not to blame. You simply have suffered a minor defeat. Cause your snickberry switch is a bit obsolete. Their slingshot's more modern. What we need to get is a weapon that's even more modern yet. So I've ordered the boys in the back room to figure how to build you some such super booper sling jigger. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
With my triple sling jigger, I sure felt much bigger. I marched to the wall with my triple sling jigger. I marched to the wall with great vim and great vigor. Right up to Van Itch with my hand on the trigger. I'll have no more nonsense, I said with a frown. From Zooks who eat bread with the butter side down. Van Itch looked quite sickly. He ran off quite quickly. I'm unhappy to say he came back the next day. Shoot if you must with your triple sling jigger. <laughs> but I also now have my hand on a trigger. My defensive weapon, the jigger rock snatch'em. We'll fling him right back just as fast as we catch him. We'll take no more nonsense. We'll take no more gup from you yukes who eat bread with the butter side up. Stymied. Thwarted. Mission aborted. I have failed, sir, I sobbed as I made my report to the chief Yukaroo in the headquarters fort. <clears throat> Not at all, my dear boy. Oh, you did fine, my dear boy. Uh, but a slingshot, oh, dear me, is an old-fashioned toy. All we need is a, a more modern kind of a gun. <laughs> my boys in the back room have already begun to think up a walloping whizzinger of one. <laughs> They thought up a great one. They certainly did. They thought up a gun called the Kickapoo Kid, which they loaded with powerful poor dew powder and axe eggs and bees legs and dried fried clam chowder. And they carefully trained a real smart dog named Daniel to serve as our country's first gun-toting spaniel. Then Daniel, the Kickapoo Spaniel, and I marched back toward the wall with our heads held up high. It's time that we bought them. Those monsters that dwell on the other side of the wall. They're spooky and freaky. They're spooky and sneaky. They're rude and they're cruel. They're frightfully lewd. On the other side of the wall. It's time that we dashed them. Oh, dear, that's they're ugly and natural. I'm Captain Arnold. They're weird, they're suspicious. They're noxious and treacherous. They're rotten, malicious. They're goose and ferocious. Repugnant, repulsive they are. We're refined. We're cruel and nutty. None of them are. All the things that they do. What do they think? I never remember. What I hear today stinks. On the other, other, other side, other side, other side, that other side of the wall. Ready? Ready? Aim? Aim. <laughs> Shoot if you must with your wee tiny shooter. But the boys in my back room have rendered it neuter with this eight-nozzled elephant-toted boom blitz. It shoots high explosive sour cherry stone pits and will put your dumb kickapoo kid on the fritz. Poor Daniel and I were scared out of our wits. Once again by the Zooks, I was bested and beat. Once again I limped home on the wall in defeat. I was losing my gumption, losing my will, when the right side up song girls marched over the hill. Remember
forget what has happened, my boy. Oh, you voted to make you a general. You've been promoted. Your pretty new uniform's ready. Get in it. And next time when you go out to battle, you'll win it. The boys in the back room have figured out how. Just wait till you see what they've puttered up now. To clobber those zooks in their land of bad butter, we have built it a thing called the Utterly Sputter. It's a plane that's so modern and frightfully new, even we don't quite know all the things it can do. But the main thing it does is to sprinkle blue goo all over the zooks. <laughs> Happy trip to the loo. How do you like my plane? Forget it, old fellow. You are stymied again. Buster, that was a pretty sour flight that you flew. And the chief Yukaroo? Well, he's looking for you.
Mighty weapon. You take a mess of muka and you twaddle it, and you waddle it a bit. That's what you do. Now this sly, unstable substance dug from deep beneath the land contains primeval powers that we scarcely understand. And when it starts to blip and bubble, you compress it in the scrubs. That precipitates the plugins and activates the glocks. And then you squeeze it till it's squeezing, then you squeeze it even tighter. Cause the tighter that it's squeezing makes its mighty might more mighter. It's just a bloody miracle you've got when you are through. You got a little itsy bitsy big boy, Boomeroo. That lovely throbbing, clobbing gumdrop that you're holding in your hand will blow those blasted zoops away to never, never land. <laughs> You just run to the wall like a nice little man. Uh, drop this bomb on the Zooks just as fast as you can. I have ordered all Yooks to stay safe underground while the bitsy big boy Boomeroo is around. Father found me, he grabbed me, he said. You should be down that hole and you're up here instead. But perhaps this is all for the better somehow. You will see me make history right here and right now. You will see your old grab put an end to them all. Put an end to all those zooks who live over the wall. Put an end to the every last village and town of those fiends who eat bread with the butter side down. And I, my dear chap, have a message for you. Namely, I also have a big boy boomeroo. And it's my firm intention, since I have the means, to blast every uke into small smithereens. Grandpa, be careful. Hey, easy. Oh, gee. Who's gonna drop it? Will you or will he? What? What? Be patient. We'll see. We will see. <laughs> 